Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid and is 50 times more potent than heroin and 100 times more potent than morphine. In 2018, more than 31,000 deaths involving synthetic opioids occurred in the US. Opioids can cross the blood-brain barrier with the exception of loperamide. However, at extraordinarily high doses, it can flood the blood-brain barrier to enter the central nervous system and produces mild euphoria. By taking 200 to 600 milligrams of the drug instead of the recommended 8 milligrams, they can achieve a euphoric effect. Such high doses come at a cost and is associated with extreme constipation as well as cardiovascular toxicity, including irregular heartbeats leading to fatalities. Opioids bind to receptors in the brain, spinal cord and the GI tract. Three classical receptor subtypes have been called mu, delta and kappa. More recently, a fourth receptor has been discovered. However, opioids do not bind to this receptor. Fentanyl has a high lipid solubility and crosses the barrier faster and therefore has immediate effect. It can also leave the central nervous system just as quick and so has a shorter duration of action. When opioids bind to their receptors, in particular the mu receptor, they promote potassium conductance, which reduces the chances of action potentials occurring. Furthermore, they also inhibit calcium influx, which inhibits the release of neurotransmitters. The inactivity of neurons in the pain pathway caused by opioids results in the inhibition of pain transmission. Opioids can increase the release of dopamine in reward pathways such as the ventral tegmental area, prefrontal cortex and nucleus accumbens. The result is a relaxing and euphoric sensation. Opioid overdose is highly common. In 2016, synthetic opioids passed prescription opioids as the most common drugs involved in overdose. Death is a result of cardiac and central nervous system depression, causing arrhythmias and comas, but the main cause comes from respiratory depression, which results in a person to stop breathing. The side effects include dysuphoria, chills, vomiting, fainting, and constipation. Fentanyl can be given through patches, intravenously smoked, and administered buccally and sublingually. In case of an overdose, if quick enough, administration of naloxone can block opioid receptors. The methadone maintenance program are offered to those struggling with addiction. It can prevent severe withdrawals. The cross tolerance that develops to repeated methadone use means euphoric feelings or effects are reduced or prevented. Methadone is relatively long acting which produces a more constant blood level of the drug and therefore is only needed once a day to prevent methadone withdrawals. However, overdose can occur with methadone as predicting individuals starting dose can be difficult. Buprenorphin is an opioid partial agonist and is used in the same manner as methadone. It has weak opioid effects and is less likely to result in an overdose or respiratory depression. It has a longer duration of action and so produces more stable psychological effects and mild withdrawal symptoms. A potential vaccine production of antibodies in the individual that would bind to the drug molecules and prevent them entering the brain. One such vaccine for opioid recognizes heroin and its active metabolites. This vaccine prevents self-administration and analgesic effects of heroin in rats. Clinical trials with humans still need to be conducted. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.